welcome back to Movie Review Mom. And if this is your very first time discovering this channel, yay, you found me. <laughs> I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. My goal here is to give you the inside scoop on movie quality as well as movie content so you could make the best decision for yourself and your family as to whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned time and money on a particular film. So let's dive in. The movie I'm reviewing today is called Red Dot. This movie premieres globally on Netflix on February 11th, 2021. The movie is rated R. It's an hour and 25 minutes. And the movie review mom grade I'm giving it is a B. So let me tell you how I format my reviews. I'll give you an overview in a nutshell. I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, and then I'll address some tips for parents, themes worth talking about, interesting lines, and then I'll finish up with some recommendations of other similar movies that I think you might also like if you like this one. All right, let's dive in. In a nutshell, Netflix just earned 42 Golden Globe nominations last week for some of the movies that they've been offering since the pandemic began and has stuck us in quarantine for a year. Can you believe it? So three cheers for Netflix for saving the day and giving us plenty of awesome movies to watch. And here's another big cheer for Netflix for sending me this screener so that I could preview it and give you guys the inside scoop. And I promise no spoilers in this review. So Red Dot is an action thriller made in Sweden about a young biracial couple who's really struggling in their marriage. So to rekindle their relationship, they decide to take a few days off and go hike in the beautiful Swedish mountains with the hope of watching the Northern Lights. So seeing the Aurora Borealis has been on my bucket list for many, many years. And I was going to go last year to Iceland actually to see them, but then the pandemic hit and I had to cancel the trip. So we're scheduled for this next fall. We'll see what happens with world travel and if I'm able to go. But anyway, I was really excited when they started talking about that in the movie because I was like, oh, I hope they get to see it because I want to see it too. Now that might sound like a romantic drama, but the movie quickly turns into a horror of sorts when some crazy guys start hunting them down with red dots on their rifles. The survivor thriller offers mystery and a very thought-provoking twist written and directed by Alan Darborg with some writing help by Per Dixon. Now, if this film is well received, you can bet that Netflix is going to continue to bring us international films like this. So stay tuned. Now, for some things that I really liked about the movie. First of all, I thought the opening scene was really powerful with intriguing sound effects and the one statement that is uttered by a bloodied man, tears running down his face. Now, even though that supposed ending is given away at the beginning of the movie, you feel compelled to keep watching because you want to know how the couple got to that point and what might happen after that reveal. You also get to look at the beautiful Swedish countryside, which is always fun. I love to travel when I'm watching movies. And you think you're watching an action survival movie, a thriller, but it suddenly changes on a dime. There's a twist that instantly takes this whole movie to another level. And I liked that. It's also super suspenseful when you see that first dot appear and you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know who is at the other end of that weapon. So despite the twist and the very thought-provoking element that it added to the movie, there were some things that I didn't like. First of all, I love survivor thrillers, but was starting to kind of get a little bored. It seemed predictable at about the hour point. Uh, then all of a sudden, all of my preconceived ideas 
of where I thought the movie was going were instantly challenged. And I loved that. So if you start watching the movie and you kind of like, yeah, I know what's going to happen and you start to get bored, keep watching because I think you're going to be surprised. And that's always a good thing for movie viewers. It is a foreign movie. And so some viewers might be distracted that the mouths don't always line up with what's being said visually on the screen and what you're hearing them saying, but that's to be expected in dubbed films. So it's fine. At the beginning, you're going to be like, wait, is this American? Wait, what's happening here? And you're going to think it's really bad editing. And then you'll realize, oh, okay, this is a foreign film. So I think it's interesting that Netflix is actually exploring this idea of using international films and using dubbing instead of subtitles. Because I know a lot of American viewers are lazy movie watchers. They don't want to have to read. So I'm really curious to see what kind of feedback Netflix is going to get for choosing to dub this movie rather than use subtitles. There are some bad editing outside of the dubbing, a few awkward acting moments as well. And then there are just some pretty unbelievable moments, things that happen where you're just like, really? <laughs> but that's part of the fun. Let me give you some tips for parents in case your kids accidentally discover this on Netflix. It is bloody. There's profanity, F-bombs, violence, and brutal deaths. So really not anything I would recommend for kids. There are some interesting themes, however, that are definitely worth talking about. For example, forgiveness, revenge, marriage, parenting, family, and even racism. Before I go, let me give you some recommendations for other movies. So if you love the outdoorsiness of the movie, then you might want to check out the old Liam Neeson movie called The Grey, which I noticed is also on Netflix currently. I just love Liam Neeson. Another movie that this movie reminded me of is a movie called phone booth where someone is on the other end who's calling all the shots and you don't know who it is until a later reveal. And so I really like that kind of a cat and mouse type of plot with a twist, of course. And then another movie that is similar where, where an unknown person is calling the shots is the fun movie Escape Room. Now, a lot of escape rooms have been closed around the world because of the pandemic. So if you ever wanted to go to an escape room and find out what that's all about, but can't because they're closed now, you might get a kick out of that movie. All right, that is it from my movie review. Thank you so much for subscribing and even just liking this video or commenting below gives me YouTube juice and that helps me to grow my channel. Tell all your friends to come by, check out my reviews. And thank you also to those of you who are going over to Patreon to support me there. I really appreciate it. All right. If you watch this movie, I hope you enjoy it. And I will catch you in the next movie review or the next movie trailer. I think those are so much fun to do. So I've been doing a bunch of them lately. All right. Have a great day. Bye for now.